Hello guys, this video will have a short introduction to one of our ebooks. Temperature controller and monitoring with AVR. First, we'll see an overview of the project. Then it will be implemented to see its performance. Finally, the ebook will be introduced briefly. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller-based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, let's start this video, related to a simple at mega 8 temperature controller system. The Project Overview the temperature controller presented in this project, controls temperature of a container filled with water, based on the time temperature table and graph given in this figure. The whole data, temp versus time table values, are embedded into the microcontroller's sketch software, to follow when it is turned on. The project hardware consists of the following devices. One heating element 220 volt AC, at 10 amps. Two solid state relays, SSR. One PT100 temperature sensor. A signal transmitter or signal conditioner. A microcontroller and LED display PCB. Notice that, according to the figure, output of the ordal transmitter is 0 to 10 volt DC. Therefore, a simple level shift circuit is used to change it to 0 to 5 volt DC. The controller system uses a PT100 temperature sensor to detect temperature, and pass on the data, to an ordal analog to a digital signal conditioner, whose output terminal is connected, to the input pin of the AVR at Mega 8 microcontroller. After the start button is depressed, the controller takes the following steps continuously. 1. The microcontroller processes the PV data and displays it on the first row of the first three-digit seven-segment display. 2. The microcontroller also calculates the current SV temperature based on the setpoint values illustrated in figure 1, based on the current process time, and sends it to the second row of the three-digit seven-segment displays. 3. The microcontroller also displays the current time of process in the third rows of the display PCB in minutes. 4. Thus the system keeps on switching on and off the SSR1, to heat the water, or SSR2 to cool it, for automatically controlling the temperature of the system. Note that, in our experiment, we are not using the second SSR output to turn on any cooling source. Then, the flow of the program goes back to step 1, and the controller continuously repeats the steps 1 to 4 all over, until it reaches the end of process time which takes 140 minutes. Alright, before implementing the project, let's take a look at the main equipment used in this project. These are two used solid state relays, SSR. This is my signal transmitter or signal conditioner. Here is the microcontroller, an LED display PCB. Please note, a video of a multiplexing device will always flicker, because of the strobe effect between the frame rate of the video, and the refresh rate of the multiplex displays. Well, the first SSR is connected to this heating element, to heat the water. And the PT100 temperature is connected to the controller using the signal transmitter. And this is a temperature gauge. As I mentioned before, the process will take 140 minutes. So, let's start it and see its performance, only for certain times. When the system is turned on for the first time, it displays the current amount of PV value, and goes to standby mode until the start button is depressed. Now, let's start the process. In the beginning, PV is 22, but SV is 25. SV is greater than PV, so, SSR1 and red LED indicator turns on to heat the water. Now, at time equal to 2 minutes, PV is 24, and SV is 25. 
the difference is only 1 degree of Celsius, so, SSR1 and red LED indicator are off. Well, at time equal to 4 minutes, the difference between PV and SV, is less than 3 degrees of Celsius, so, no need to take any action yet. Now, PV value is 25, but SV value is 28. SV is greater than PV, and their difference is 3 degrees of Celsius, so, SSR1, and also the red LED indicator are turned on, to heat the water. Well, the controller compares PV and SV values continuously. If PV is greater than SV for 3 degrees of Celsius or more, SSR1 and the red LED are turned on to heat the water. And if SV is greater than PV for 3 degrees of Celsius or more, SSR2 and the green LED are turned on to cool the water. So, when the SV value is greater than PV value, the controller will decide to heat the water. When the SV is less than PV value, the second SSR and green LED indicator will be on, to cool the water. Note that in this experiment, output of the second SSR is not used. Alright, let me introduce the prepared ebook briefly. This title which is prepared in 4 chapters and 90 pages, details the generation of code for both, at Mega 8 Microcontroller, and the Arduino Mega 2560 Development Board, to control a temperature process in general. All main control program solutions, are prepared in C language using the CodeVision AVR, and the Arduino software, IDE. In addition, the schematic of all the hardware used in this project, is provided and are fully explained. All control software related to both projects, come with the purchase of the project ebook, and you will not need to develop any extra sketch, for any part of these two projects. Chapters 1, 2, and 3 are devoted, to design and implementation, of a temperature controller system, using an Atmega 8 microcontroller. Chapter 4 is devoted, to redesigning the same controller system, using the Arduino Mega 2560 board. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.